This is the world's smallest thermal camera from Infure. Such a tiny one and cute. The size is just 9mm and weight is 9 grams. The camera can be inserted into the USB port of your mobile phone. The camera is available for both iPhone and Android phone. All you need to do is insert the camera to the USB port and start accessing the camera through the app. Here are a few sample videos that I have taken from this camera. This camera is really awesome, right? Faster, responsive and with a good resolution. Alright, we will unbox and check this camera today and also learn how to use it. So let's get started. This is the official website of Infiji which claims this thermal camera module is the world's smallest camera. The Infiji company is a leader in thermal imaging technology and makes variety of thermal cameras and other products. Let us take a look at this camera. This is the packet that was sent to me by Infiji. The packaging looks awesome and of premium quality. And I got this camera in iOS version. You can buy it for Android version in case you have an Android phone. Let me unbox and check what is inside it. So here we go. Inside the box we have this casing and a pair of something which looks like camera. One of them is the macro lens and the other is the thermal camera which we will check out later on. Inside this tray, there is a small bag and two manuals. One of the books is instruction manual and the other is a warranty certificate. This is a small bag for carrying and putting the camera. The bag is so cute and the thermal camera and lens, both of them can be placed together in a bag. Alright, let's look at its technical specifications. The thermal camera model is P2 Pro and has a resolution of 256 x 192. The pixel pace is 12 micrometers and operates between 8 to 14 micrometers. The frame rate of this camera is 25 Hz which is quite good for thermal videography. The power consumption is 350 milliwatt, which means it consumes less power than a normal camera. The lens has 3.2 mm focal length and an aperture of f1.1. The field of view for it is 56 x 42 degrees. The most important part is temperature measurement range. The range is minus 20 degrees to 550 degrees Celsius. This is quite high and very good. The measurement accuracy is very high as well which is plus minus 2 percentage of readings. The method it uses to measure temperature is based on emissivity and black body radiation. The data is analyzed based on secondary temperature analysis and processing of images. Let's see how we can set this up and use this thermal camera. This thermal camera can be directly used with mobile phones. Apart from this stand alone camera, we can use this micro lens as well. This macro lens is magnetic and can be fitted directly on the camera cover. 
For the thermal camera part, you can insert it on your iPhone or Android from both sides the USB port. This is really good feature as a single camera can be used as a selfie camera from front and while loaded it can be used as main camera from back. We need an application to view the camera image. So go to your play store or app store. From here search for thermal P2 Pro. So here is the app. Simply install it on your phone. Now open it. You need to set up and pass all this initially. Then click on start over. The app will initialize and take time to connect to the hardware. So here we go. Initially the grayscale image will appear. Here is how my hands look like in the thermal imaging. You can now go to palette option and select what type of images do you want based on the color. The screen will not only display the thermal images but also the temperature of hot cold portion. There are various settings for color and image display. You may choose anything you like but for me, the red hot option is better. You can click photos using this button. You may also switch to video mode and record the thermal imaging videos. From here, you can adjust the thermal measurement settings. The professional thermometry will allow you to choose measurement parameters. You can change the temperature unit to Celsius or Fahrenheit or Kelvin. Even the threshold temperature can be set. The most important part is it can let you easily identify what part of circuit board is heating. This is my Raspberry Pi board, powered under normal condition. When I view this board from my thermal camera, it shows the image, which gives the perfect information of heat map and images. While talking about this macro lens, under macro lens, the image looks something like this. Here are few samples of videos that I have taken using the thermal camera without any extra lens. You can purchase this product from Amazon, the link is in the description. Go through the details of the camera and select the product suitable for iPhone or Android. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching.